In this video, we'll learn how to register scans in Recap 360 Ultimate. Here you'll see a project with scans have just finished importing. So now we're ready to register. I'll go down to the Register Scans button, and we have three options. If I click the button, that starts automatic registration. The scans will automatically be stitched together. The other options are skip registration. I'd skip the registration step if I was bringing in data that has already been registered and aligned in another software package, or if I'm bringing in recap data that was already uh, previously registered in recap. The third option is manual registration. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and show you what this looks like. So in manual registration, I'm picking common points between these scans. You'll see here on the left and right, I have two panoramic views. One's in black and white, the other's in color. That's just the way we scan this data set. And in this view, we're actually looking for common points. So when we're in this panoramic view, we'll actually click on three common points on each side. You'll see here I have a spinning dialog box at the bottom. This is actually using the registration engine, the automatic registration engine, to look at these scans and determine if there's a match between them. If it thinks there is, it'll show me a little hint with a preview of the alignment to show me that it thinks that I'm, I have selected two, uh, two scans that are next to each other and will align. I'll also show you from the top-down view you can see that you can get this essentially a floor plan view or a top-down view of these scans and so this is useful if you know exactly you know where you're looking you have a nice scan plan to work from or something like that because then you can actually go in and instead of three points on each side I only need to click twice for each side and it'll go through and automatically align these. It'll check the registration and it'll give me a nice little preview. Okay, we see here that it has a lower overlap than I'd like, but we scan this in a stairwell, so that's about to be expected. We can click on this and actually check to see how these came together. We see that, yeah, this actually looks pretty good. This scan is right at the base of the stairwell, as I was expecting. So I'll actually go ahead and approve that. And that's all there is to it. From top down, two clicks. From the panoramic mode from the real view it's three clicks and you're good to go now say I wanted to add some survey targets in this data set so I'll actually go back to my panoramic view here and if I had a survey target I don't have targets in this data set if I did what I would do is select this option here so we have square targets and we have spherical targets. So if I had a checkerboard on the wall, I would select this checkerboard and I would just click it. It would automatically find the center point. If I have survey control tied to this, if I've imported a, uh, a target list, it'll automatically name these based on the survey alignment. And so if I set a couple of these targets, I then am tied to my survey grid. That's all there is to it. Three clicks in real view, two clicks in top down, identify a target with a single click. 